Hey everybody, Big Mac here. How's it going? So, you're probably like looking around and being like, something's different. And yeah, it totally is. I got new glasses. So, I don't know. They're a little darker than my other ones in the frame used to be. So, it's like, this is my closest to evil hipster Mitchie. I don't know. Anyway, mwahahaha. Mustache. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, I got new glasses. Um, actually, you know, I'm, I just got them today, and they're, they're feeling pretty good. So, <coughs> other thing you've probably noticed, I moved. So, I think I mentioned this in my last vlog video, but uh, I moved out from uh, living with my cousin and our other friend. Um, cause you know, the lease was up and we just had to go our separate ways and we couldn't really afford the house anymore. I didn't want, and none of us really wanted to take care of the house anymore either. So we were like, okay, we're done. And so I got myself a new apartment, um, about midtown now. So not too bad, close to the U, close to work and stuff like that. Close to the places that I want to go to, which is important. The other thing you've noticed right now is, yeah, I am like super duper sick right now. So there's this flu bug thing that's been going around campus and yesterday I was really hoping that it would be like a 24 hour bug kind of thing. Oh, my eardrums just popped. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. You station tubes. Ow. But I was honestly thinking that it was like a 24 hour bug because last night I was like, I feel great. I feel fresh as a bagel. Um, of course, that was probably just the NyQuil and the medication talking. Um, that being said, if I still don't get better soon, I am. I'll take. I'll shove myself over to urgent care. But I know they've been busy too with all the influx of stuff because basically it's super hot here in Arizona right now. Like it's been like in the 80s and it was 90 or something in February, which admittedly for Arizona is not normal. <laughs> You know, 80s, 90s, that normally that's more like April, May-ish kind of weather, but super early this year. It's not, not unprecedented, it just hasn't happened in a very long time, apparently. But anyway, so with that, our jeans are starting to flop up, flop up, pop up, flip up, I don't know, pop top, I don't know, whatever. Uh, otherwise, in terms of, well, I don't know why that just reminded me, um, flip flop is the thing that reminded me. Um... So, as you guys rem probably remember, I was on Wheel of Fortune a few months ago. I have received my winnings. I have booked my trip. Uh, my cousin Tony and I are going to Costa Rica at the end of May. And so, he better have his passport. I'm just saying, he better have his passport already. If not, there's going to be a lot of yelling. Just going to say that. Anyway, um... So, yeah, in terms of, you know, moving and stuff like that, uh, China's going all right. Um, hopefully I'll get over this cold, flu -y kind of thing relatively soon. Um, happen like, yesterday was, like, the fevers and the chills and the annoying stuff, and the, uh, I feel terrible. Like, walking back to my car from lecture yesterday, I probably shouldn't have lectured yesterday, but walking back to my car, I was like, zombie, zombie. And it was like, holy crap, I am moving so slowly today. And it was like, maybe I just like feeling warm in the sunlight. <laughs> but, yeah, not my greatest day ever. And so today, I feel a little better. I don't feel the aches and pains and stuff, which is a good thing. The fever is coming back, though. I can honestly feel it coming back right now. Um, otherwise, I've just had a lot of nasal and throat congestion and coughing and stuff like that. <coughs> that was not timed. And so, you know, I'm just going to grab, you know, NyQuil again for all this stuff. Hopefully, try and sleep it over because it'll be like, hmm, drugs. But, yeah, so hopefully this will get remedied pretty soon. You know, for most people that I've been seeing around campus, around Tucson, they're like, yeah, it goes away in a couple days. Obviously, it's a virus, so it's harder to, you know, treat and stuff. <coughs> but, so I just, you know, I've got all the over-the-counter things that you can buy. Uh, mostly Dayquil and NyQuil, because it's like, yay, make me feel good. Tylenol, acetaminophen, make me feel good. All right, so in terms of videos on this channel, I don't have anything planned in the upcoming months or weeks. Um, I probably could do some more LPs of stuff. You know, I've got the screen recorder software. I've got 
I might have stolen Cousin Tony's game. Uh, X, I was going to say GameCube controllers. No. I might have stolen uh, one of Cousin Tony's Xbox controllers. Um, the receiver doohickey, the little receiver doohickey for the computer, that was my. I bought that myself with my own blood and sweat and tears at the computer store. That like a year, year ago or two. But I don't know. So, yeah, just stuff going along. The semester's going along. I need to find more time to keep track of all the stuff going on for my students because I don't feel like I'm giving them enough time right now. Again, it doesn't help that I've been moving and that I feel quite crap and stuff like that. But, but you know, they need guidance, and I'm not giving it to them. And they need more guidance from me. It's hard to give them guidance when they can't talk. Oh, boy. I've got class tomorrow. I've got trig and two sections of calc. <coughs> yeah, sniffs, coughs, all of them, all the good things. Alrighty, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in the meantime. Probably just try and stay under covers and you know, hope that this thing passes and stuff like that. But we'll see what happens. Uh hopefully good things come along the way. And so like I was saying earlier, yeah, I got my Wheel of Fortune money. Um I have no idea what I want to spend it on. I take that back. I do want to buy a car, but I don't have to right now. You know, I've got my my car is, you know, I've been getting it uh, factory maintained ever since I we got it because we got it as a brand new car. And so I've been pretty good and, you know, going to the dealership and getting the oil changes and all the, ma the regular routine things. And the only thing that I haven't been getting done at the dealership is tires. And, you know, you can get those anywhere pretty much. And so they like me. They recognize me. They're like, oh, Mitch, hi, how are you doing? Been a while since we saw you. And it's like, I know, but... And so, you know, I the, overall, the car is in good shape on the inside, in, engine-wise. Uh, Facade-wise, it's definitely showing its age. You know, like, things fall off and break, and you gotta pay to replace them. But, so, facade-wise, it's coming apart like a nine-year-old car should. But, engine-wise, I have not had any issues. I had, like, one minor issue where the check engine light came on over the last summer, and that got fixed, like, super quickly, so... Hopefully, you know, I can keep the car for a little while longer. I had thought about, you know, a, fr a friend of my mom's was like, oh, maybe we could sell the car. And that's a possibility. But, again, I, I'm not ready to make a commit. I'm not I'm not ready for that kind of a commitment yet. I'm sorry. But, anyway, um, not I wouldn't buy anything, like, ridiculous. Like, you know, the most I would buy is, like, a mid-size sedan. Ooh. Although... That being said, like in in looking at all the models and stuff, the the one that I want, the one that I desperately wanted, but one they don't make it anymore, or they don't sell it in the U.S. anymore. Two, it's too small for me. Um, the Mazda two, it's like the little compact. It's like oh my gosh, it's so cute, and I wanted that, but it's it's um yeah they don't sell it here anymore because it didn't perform well. But it's like because there's one on campus and it's like this a beautiful color of green and I'm like. Oh, I like you. Um, so yeah, in terms of like a car that I want, for some reason I'd like I would I would like a co a car that has like a non-standard color, like a green or an orange. It's not a requirement, obviously. So I'll probably just settle for like a silver or a blue. But you know, it's like it's got to be you know comfortable for me and people, not too expensive. You know, ideally I would put like half of my money down that I want from Wheel and then, you know, just make payments on the rest. <coughs> you know, stuff like that. Or, you know, in terms of like money and stuff, because we're adults here, we can talk about that stuff. So, uh, as you guys remember, um, I won 23000 in cash and prizes. And so that included a $6,000 trip, which obviously I haven't earned, gotten yet because the trip's in May. But, and so the way that it works in terms of taxes and stuff like that, is they'll take away, um, because I am a California non-resident, earning money in the state of California, pretty good for half an hour's work, gotta say that, um, they take out 7% of your total earnings, and so what, one of the things that got me thinking about this over and again was there was a, I guess a clip of a lady on Price is Right who won like a $120,000 car, which is awesome. <clears throat> and then of course most people are like, oh, you know, the beep will never be able to afford the taxes and stuff on that, but... 
you know, that is a realistic thing that you do have to worry about. But and regarding my stuff anyway, so, you know, so $23,000, that whole thing gets taxed. And so, you know, they tax like, I forget what it was, like 7% or so. And then they're like, okay, so you of that money, 17000 was cash. The trip was worth 6000 And so they're like, okay, so we're going to take out that 7% of the total from your 17000 in cash. And then whatever cash you have left over, that's yours. Don't forget, you're going to have to pay taxes on that. And so, you know, I'm budgeting. So I got a check for fifteen grand, which boggles my mind. You know, it's like, how did that happen over the course of two days? I don't, I barely remember it happening at all. It was just such a in-the-moment kind of thing. And, oh, my gosh, it was crazy. You guys saw my blogs and stuff like that already. But, oh, that was a crazy day. And two, that was a crazy two days. <coughs> but... And so I got a check for 15 and then I'm, I don't know why I got quiet all of a sudden. It's like the neighbors are watching. I have upstairs and across the hallway neighbors and backside neighbors. And so I've got, <coughs> actually I've got neighbors on this side too. I got four neighbors. No, I don't. I just have three neighbors because we live in a like, apartment thingy. I don't have anybody living in that direction of me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, I do have four neighbors. Yeah, I do. I've got the ones in this way, I got the ones that way, I got the ones that way, and I got the ones up here. Yay, I can count. Maybe this fever is hurting my brain. I don't know. <coughs> but anyway, so, you know, regarding tax brackets and stuff, um, with that winning of 23000 that's going to bring my uh, annual salary up to about, uh, you know, give or take some stuff, probably 70 ish <coughs> I don't intend to work over the summer. Oh, excuse me. I am sick still. Shoot. Yeah, I, I'm still a little sick. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I can... Is this break? Am I sweating? Is that great? Fever breaking. Yay! All right, I'm shiny now. Hello. I'm shiny, ladies. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, yes, I do know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about monies and stuff. And so I got my check for 15. Um, regarding taxes and stuff, you know, that bumps me up a bracket because my annual income will be like 70-ish for the year. <coughs> you know, 30... How much do I earn from teaching? 36 a year. 36 a year from teaching. I'll earn like two grand from quiz and stuff like that. And then the rest is the money from wheel. So yeah, that bumped me to around 70 grand. And, and so I forget, what, I don't know what the bracket's going to be at that time, but they're like, here's all the forms you're going to need when they send me the check. And so I was like, immediately, I was like, Cousin Tony, we have to go to the bank right now. And it was, it was exciting. And they were like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And I was like, yes, it was. I want my money, please. <coughs> so my intention is um, in terms of money that I'm going to have to pay in taxes, you know, of that 23000 probably a good 5000 of that, or maybe 6000 uh, I forget if that puts me in, like, the 25% bracket or 30% bracket. But, you know, probably a good five or 6000 of that I'm going to have to pay in federal taxes. So, you know, my check was for 15 minus 5 or 6 and that's, that's like, $9,000. And so what I'm thinking of doing is I'll take um, that chunk of money that I know I'm going to have to save for taxes, I'm just going to put that aside, put that in a savings account. Just that way it can accrue a little bit of interest over the year or so. That way I don't touch it or anything like that. And then when it is time to pay for taxes, yeah, I'll just pull it out. <coughs> so, yay, adult things. All right. I am feeling like crap again, so I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, Big Mac saying later. Hopefully I will feel like so much better and not be such an evil-looking hipster. Mustache.